What's up everybody? It's your boy Steve from the Watch Corner and today we're going to be doing the review of the Tactical Frog from my big sis Isabella Garcet. Love you sis. So I'm super excited about this. Today's Sunday, January the 16th. I'm taping a month ahead. We're supposed to get like snow, freezing rain and ice and regular rain. It's going to be crazy. I figured let me go ahead and just bust this out. So I'm going to do it. So let's go ahead and get this camera flipped around and start this review. Okay, everyone, before we do this review, wristwatch check. Yes, I am wearing the Vostok Scuba Dude Honeymoon Still Continuing On. This is from my good friend Ken Spears in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with the beads by Gonzo. I think it's Red River Stones. Very, very nice. And then on the right wrist, I have my vintage uh, bracelet here from Macho Massa Big Lou, Rare Antiques and Treasures. I'm going to have to get... The watch corner on this i have to take it to an engraver i want to get that on there that was a gift from him all right here we go we have the tactical frog we're going to do some live measurements you saw this thing's pretty much a loom beast it's 200 meters water resistance i like it how they have the frog there uh it's on the case back and also on the signed crown it's very cool and i love this beads of right style bracelet and like I said, it's from my big sis in Belgium, Isabella Garcet. So we'll go ahead and do some live measurements on this. And it is a sapphire crystal. So from the crystal to the case back, we're at a whopping 12.8 millimeters. The lug width is 20 millimeters. Um, now the lug, the lug is kind of weird with this cushion case, uh, it is 44.3 and the bracelet doesn't taper down any on it. So the case diameter, like I said, it's got this big cushion case is a 43.6. And then we'll do the crown to case because some people like that measurement is a 44.8. So it is very decent measurements on this tactical frog. You have the tactical frog on the buckle, the milled, fully milled clasp. And like I said, you have the tactical frog on the case backs, a sapphire crystal water resistant 200 meters. So it's very cool. I love this teal blue, call it Tiffany blue, but look, Pat Tech was not the first person to come up with these colors. You know, they ripped it off of Doxa. Because this is a Doxa homage. <clears throat> and, um, I mean, it's nice. I like it a lot. I like these big, I'm calling them like big uh, paddle hands. And I like it, the second hand with that little uh, rectangle on it. I like it a lot. So it's, it's, it's a nice watch. And I like the frog, you know, but it's not too over. It's got the frog. It doesn't say tactical frog on it. You know, I like that little logo. It's really cool. Now, I'm trying to think. Like I said, Isabella Garcet gave me this brand new, but she had sized it, I guess, to check it out on her own wrist. I had to put <clears throat> one link back in. I have a six and a three quarter inch wrist. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's closer to a six and a half or so. Um, I have the clasp all the way in as well. But yeah, it fits me perfectly. You all saw from the B-roll in the beginning. It's just a super nice uh, watch. The bezel action is fine. I'm just kind of doing this off of... Uh, camera to make sure I have it lined up. Yeah, the bezel action is fine on this thing. It's like, you know, smooth like uh, like butter, so there's not any problem there. It's got the NH35 movement in it, so you know it's a reliable Seiko movement now. The, the It's like a beads of rice style. It's not a true beads of rice, but these... Uh, Ones in between here do move when you take them out. So basically, I use a little, uh, you know, a little link block that you put down and you do it to tap it in. So you just have to kind of, when you're tapping them in or out, have to kind of wiggle them a little bit because they're push pins just to finagle it a little bit so you get them in. You don't want to bend the pin, you know, not screw pins, but that's okay. You just got to be careful with it, have a little finesse. So I, I ended up putting one back in, not a problem at all. And actually, let me line this up right. Because it wasn't supposed to be on the dot there. So there we go. So now we're both, we're lined up exactly right. 
And the sapphire crystal is cool too. It's, uh, you know, domed slightly. I recommend this watch for $159 to $177. Now, like I said, this homage to the Doxa. Now, I have to agree with Jody from Just One More Watch. I would not pay $2,000 asking price for a brand new Doxa. If you're looking to get one, look on the secondary pre-owned market and try to get it around $1,000. But yeah, there's no way I would buy a brand new Doxa for $2,000. It's just not all that for this. Now, I'd like to cushion style case on on this and the real doxa um but yeah i would not be willing to pay two thousand dollars for the real deal i'm satisfied i have my my hunger satisfied by this homage of the tactical frog it does it for me you know so that we get to the good the bad the ugly there's no ugly there's only two tiny things i would say for bad and this is just really an outcry <clears throat> nitpicking the first is it has a tacky meter on it. It should be a dive bezel, not a tacky meter. And number two is on the bottom of this case. It's not sharp that you could cut your, your hands, but it's still sharp. I feel that they should have rounded off the edge here more on both sides. Now, it doesn't bother you when it's on the wrist. It's comfortable. Like, you don't even have know it's there. But I think they should have just did a little bit better finishing and rounded off this sharper edge a, a little bit on both sides of the case. You know, you can kind of see it there. That's the only two things. And like I said, that's a far cry nitpick. Uh, I love this watch. It's from my big sis. It'll a forever piece. It's not going anywhere. They have different colors. They have the yellow. They have this teal. They have a silver. <clears throat> they have an orange. I know there's other people that make this homage of the Doxa too, but I like this, you know, very, very cool watch. And that's all I have for you today. So I recommend for picking this up. If you want to satisfy your Doxa itch, like I said, between 159 and 177 on AliExpress, and you can find these on eBay too, I'm sure. Pick one up. It's an awesome watch. Now, I didn't show the case it come in. You saw an unboxing come with a little plastic, you know, standard AliExpress case. I just recycled that because I have all my watches in watch boxes, unless it's a super dope watch, and then it keeps in the packaging, but that doesn't happen too often. Um, so that's all I have for you all today. If you like this type of content, please hit the thumbs up, hit the bell notification so you know when I'm uploading. Also, watch my 500 subscriber giveaway because it will be coming up shortly. And how rude of me, before I forget, I am carrying the... Honey Badger with the honeycomb blue scales on it. Thanks to my 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 brother, Shield and Arms, and also Salty Red Corn, brother of the knives. They've really been inspiring, inspiring me for the EDC. I love this. This is my only EDC knife. Next will be a Spyderco, so I will be carrying this with me every day. I'm just wiping the blade off because he told me just use the same cloth you would for the knife. But yes, and you got the little Honey Badger on it. Super, super awesome. The liner lock, I just wanted to show that on camera because I want to get in the habit of showing that in my videos. But that's all I have for you, folks. Like I said, watch my 500 subscriber video. Comment, like, and subscribe for your chance to win one of three dope prizes of watches with matching bracelets. I mean, with ma yeah, matching bracelets and the first two prizes. Get an extra uh, strap with it. So that's all I have, folks. So please remember, time is short. Let someone you care about know how much you love them. They have a fantastic Sunday and... You, those of you that are off Monday for Martin Luther King Day, have a wonderful Monday. Thanks so much, family.